This podcast is brought to you by eBiz Radio, the place to go if you want to know about the world of business. For daily podcasts and article uploads, go to ebizradio.com or give us a follow on Twitter at Ebiz Radio Global. My name is Nick Snow and joining me for an edition of Entrepreneur Biz, the first for 2015, is the one and only Manele Rewo. Manele, thank you very, very, very much for joining us. It's been a while since we got to do one with you. And I think this topic for this podcast is absolutely fantastic. Discussing seven daily habits for entrepreneurs success in 2015 so tell us a little bit about why you decided to start with this at the beginning of the year yeah well right now it's not very hard to actually find um uh, motivated everybody is just motivated everyone is in high spirit and they're trying to go into the year um with a very big dream fresh ideas however um you are actually facing um, some sort of um, obstacles um, along the way. There will be obstacles along the way. And the most important thing to actually remember there is to is to actually stay motivated. Now, um, these seven these seven habits are one of the things that will actually help entrepreneurs out there to actually stay motivated throughout the year because the year is going to be very long and you're going to need all that motivation. Yes. Basically, I want to keep the high. We're definitely going to want to keep that high going. And uh, part of that, I suppose, is getting enough sleep. But uh, your number one tip at the beginning of the list is start your day early. Yes, exactly. It's like starting your your year early. You don't want to come in into the new year with only to make the pl- uh, your, your, to make your plans on the fifteenth of January or sometime in uh, in February. You need to actually make your plans right at the, uh, the uh, summer season or in fact the festive season. Um, there's, the, there's there's a thing that um, goes actually for every entrepreneur out there is that. Um, we, we don't sleep. We, we, we entrepreneurs, they stay on. There's no time to relax in December. And there's, uh, that is so true because, um, and that is actually the, 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 the perfect time to actually concentrate because you're not getting emails. You're not under pressure yes. to contact, um, to contact, uh, uh, clients. There's virtually no one to, 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 to distract you. So you need to actually start your day early in the, in the same way that you start your year early. At early hours, before say uh, seven, before um, seven or eight o'clock, before your clients wake up, you have a time that you're not getting any notification, no distractions. You use that time to actually um, do whatever that you need to do. Say you want to check your emails, go through your emails, um, write whatever you need to write, and we're actually going to also um, um, planning out your day. And starting early is the best time to actually do that. Action. And of course, starting early means you've got more time to do more things. The thing is, stay physically fit to be mentally fit. Exactly, exactly. I mean, here you are. You just came back <laughs> again from um, from from the December holidays. I mean, you've been feasting and feasting and relaxing. Feeling whatever. a bit round around However, the middle. Yes, and um, and and, and um, getting physical. <laughs> sorry. Getting physical is just something um, I, I hold dear to because I actually do believe that it actually makes you smarter because your blood runs faster throughout your body. When that happens, it means that your brain is actually um, working at maximum capacity. So then you can imagine what happens to, 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 to your decision-making processes if you, you, you do actually work out. And also, you, you decrease your, your stress levels. Your, your neurons are firing at 100 million um, uh, um, revolutions. You're very, you're very, very um, detailed in, in, in your day-to-day and you actually also reduce stress. So, uh, stay physical if it's, I mean, you know, we're not talking about um, uh, so, uh, um, uh, exercises here. We're just talking about um, 30 minutes daily exercise, whatever it may be, whether it be jogging or whatever. But stay, uh, stay physically fit. And you- definitely. I can definitely agree with that in uh, 2014. I was making sure I get enough exercise, <laughs> and it definitely makes a huge difference to the way you look at your day. And uh, so yeah, those first does, those, those first two points, kind of very nicely wrapping up how we should take care of our suddenly. How we're going to get a little bit more into the business side, and the point number: read and know your industry. Of course, of course. Now um, there's two aspects to this. To this, there's actually just picking up a book, um, books that you you have uh, to a personal interest in, and also reading about your your industry. Now this is very self-explanatory. Uh, the reading about your industry, which are just magazines, industry magazines, articles online. Um, I mean, just for quarter, say read four articles about 
um, being in your industry daily. I mean, there's this community that's huge. You can even listen to um, uh, listen to podcasts or, or what's happening in the industry. However, the art, um, your mind gets sort of clogged up when you when you're busy with one topic, when you're busy with what you're doing during the day, it sort of gets stifled and it gets tired and you start to basically lose imagination because it sort of um, becomes like a one-track mind. So what you need to do is read uh, something that's totally different, but something that does not have to do with anything, um, which basically brings you money. So maybe you read an author or whatever, and we're not about killing the whole book here, talking about, again, 30 minutes, uh, just dedicate 30 minutes to actually read that. Now, two things happen when you do that. One, you relax and you actually log off out of out of the um, out of the environment that you find yourself in, which may be stressful. So, two, you actually um, are moving your mind away from that uh, from that environment, going into an imaginative um, environment where you can, if, if you can actually imagine when you come back to actually face um, a, a problem you probably have been dealing with or struggling with the whole morning, you'll find that you can just solve it within uh, a second. And that's because you moved your mind from the problem four seconds there. That's absolutely brilliant. So you're saying uh, we, we can figure it out, let our minds sit with it a little bit, not stress ourselves out trying to find the problem. Mm-hmm. Very yes, good. Yes, yes. I'm, 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 let me make um, actually funny examples. Like when you play games like um, uh, Candy Crush, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, when you, uh, gotta walk away you give it to a friend of yours, yeah, and then you you be struggling with one stage for like what five hours or so, and then you actually are uh, taking and solve it. That's the same sort of thing. Your mind needs to relax and and when it comes back, yes. it's gonna be on. Awesome. Yes. No. Absolutely. I I think that's a, a fantastic example. Except I hope people are rather solving their work problems a little bit more than playing Candy Crush in 2015. <laughs> and I think that goes hand in hand, of course, here with your point number four, which is schedule your day. So if you want to play, make some time, but don't let it take over. Yes. Scheduling a day. I mean, um, there's nothing as painful as just waking up and not knowing exactly what you need to do or uh, not knowing where to start. What usually happens in that uh, in that pro- in that uh, time that you don't know what to do is that distraction come in and you end up finding yourself at about one o'clock or three o'clock um, in the afternoon and you really haven't done anything. So you need to actually plan your day and you can plan your day right at point number one, which is start your day every day right there and actually tackle um, uh, tackle all the things that you. Um, uh, well, that you have planned for the day, write them, uh, write them on the, on the day from a uh, from a piece of paper, and you're ready to go. And that ties in very nicely with point number five, which is prioritize yeah. your priorities. So, of course, a list what is most important, and then accordingly. Exactly. The the, the, the problem with um, um, with uh, prioritizing, or well, not prioritizing, is that we usually, as human beings, we usually leave the big task to be at the end. How we how we actually say that to get to the end of the day, um, I would have had say enough motivation to tackle this problem. But uh, but the, uh, the reality is that actually is that all the small tasks that you start with, right? You do them with something with a monkey on your back, basically telling you, oh well, you're doing this very well. But remember, you have this big thing that you need to deal with later, so you don't actually do great at it. Um, or even at the small town. So what you need to do is tackle the big prize, do those first, and your mind would actually be very excited at the fact that you've actually finished the one thing that um, that was a stumble, and you're basically going down uphill. So do the, the, the difficult things first, and then follow up with the small one. I think uh, that goes for anyone trying to do, try and do, and then they pile up, and then eventually... They don't take care of people because they just put deal with what's yeah. important now. You won't have to deal with it later, which also does everything um, positively for your stress levels because it brings those down. And you're actually running off of, of procrastination and actually not doing it at all. Yes. So, <laughs> you know, avoid that. And I like your point number six here, mostly along, which is give more than yesterday. Does this run along the lines yeah. of kind of self-improvement yeah. and kind of, well, this is what I did it yesterday is. and it how is. can I do it better today? It is. Um, we've always said on the show that um, uh, right to the business is yourself until you actually grow it um, enough to actually uh, take it out of it. Even then, um, uh, a company like, say, um, Apple, for example, it still has a steep 
uh, Steve Jobs in it, uh, the, the skills from uh, some persona of yours in such a company. So I think it's very important and self-discipline and you all, they're all cliche. However, um, if you learn how to um, uh, actually uh, basically uh, uh, find your uh, find your your rhythm in in, in how you um, conduct yes. your company something as simple as daily task um you 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 will actually uh, basically spread that so um give more uh, give more uh, than yesterday is as you said is is one of those things where it's actually improvement you actually have to um look yesterday with an with an um, eye where you yourself what did i do yesterday was this enough if i do it uh, today can i um can i speak in one more um article can i um, yes. stay up with 30 more it's, it's it's those things that um will actually uh, translate into you being a very very um uh, a rigid, um supplier of anything and yes. you become an entrepreneur where the client knows that it will go to the extra mile. This yes. guy um, can uh, will surprise me because of those very simple um, uh, uh, everyday uh, things that you do or well, yes. self improvement. That client more than going to come to you, which means repeat, oh. fantastic, because it means you're you're going to grow. The company is going to grow, and and that's what you want. Um, which I think goes with goes quite nicely with your last point here, which is the final point number seven. Learn and improve in something every day. So whether it's, I imagine, exactly. finding out something new about a customer or finding out something new about a business process, there's nothing that you shouldn't be taking into the next day to make it better than the one before. Exactly. I mean, I, I mean, um, uh, the human, the human mind is all about uh, is all about learning. And as an as an entrepreneur, I mean, if we look at all the if you look at all those steps um, uh, leading up to step number seven, they're all about actually learning and improving at the end of the day. It sums it up that um, um, do, um, um, be up and plan what you're doing. It boils down to that because nothing ever happens by pure. You have to uh, you have to be available for those uh, for those um, for those chances, and um, and you know, the only way to, is to be uh, is, is to learn as much as you can. And improve on. I mean, it, you, you don't. You, you don't need to. Look, you don't need to. Uh, uh, watching two-hour videos. Just, just do something different. Do something different, and and that's the kind of thing that will actually um, uh, keep your mind. You relax. You can actually sustain that high. We begin the the the, the, the talk about. Absolutely. So, Vanilla uh with regards to this entrepreneurs going into 2015, do you think it's going to be for entrepreneurs, or do you think that yeah. at the end of the day we we we're going to be okay? I think that's that's very sub, uh, that's very subjective at the end of the, at the end of it. Um, look, it depends on who you're in. Um, right now, for example, the oil prices are down. I mean, that as a as, a, as, a, as an entrepreneur, as this, as some entrepreneur out there who's very affected that the oil prices are down, they can take advantage of that. And um, a lot of things happening in in, in um, a lot that are happening in in technology. So you just need to stay. Um, you just need to keep your eyes open. Um, or uh, go back to uh, number three, which is know your industry. Yes. Then you're going to know what kind of year you're going to have. Brilliant. Absolute words, I think, and uh, us into the new year. And that brings us to the end of this edition of Entrepreneur Biz. Banele, thank you very much for taking the time to chat to me on Ebiz Radio. Fantastic.